Yeah, so last week we got one away at Orange. Um, at auction, actually, which in a hot market is pretty unusual. Uh, I, there wasn't enough, there wasn't too much interest. So I, I think it was, we could have gone up to 700, but we ended up jagging it for 650, went in hard with offers straight away um, over the phone. So there's always, when, when you're over the phone, I reckon people on the ground are th- wondering who it is on the other end. Yeah. Um, but I think there's about 50K in it already it's 1100 just over 1100 square block uh oh you and i went through yeah, it we didn't went we checked it out, yeah. so 500 up the front 600 at the back already da approved so that headache is is removed i reckon the block on its own is worth 250 and that will stand alone be worth 450 so we're in for about there's about 700 worth of value there and it already rents at 450 a week the DA for a single house? Or? Single four bedroom house at the back, yeah. And there's a laneway down here, which is even better, yeah. which is not, is really no one's, isn't it? It's like a bit of no yeah, man. like a common area that hopefully, yeah, the client can use as well. Yeah, so if they can use it, it's a bonus, but either way, that's about 22 metres, so it's, yeah. there's six, seven metres there. They will chop a shed off and whatever else, but yeah, good, good long term outcome in a hot market where things are going over yep. um but yeah people weren't looking at that obviously as uh, create enough interest from well, what was it guided at pre-option well it was a thing uh, they they had it sort of up to 700 but yeah i i thought it would have gone over sevens to be honest like they had some pre-auction offers in the sixes but yeah so but any case. Nice. And what was the client's brief? They wanted something they could do a fuel lock on? Really wanted to get their hands dirty on something. Yep. Um, already got a couple of properties in their portfolio, but just wanted something to get their hands dirty. Live in Sydney, so they'll get out there occasionally and do some things to it initially. So, nice. mm. Is there a plan to attack straight away? I think so. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's pretty keen to get his hands dirty and when he's allowed out, or he is allowed out there now, so... Yeah. What are your thoughts on the? Do you think it'll rent for four fifty a week while they're building behind it? Uh, I think so. The market, like vacancies, are under one percent there. So, someone so. at four fifty in Orange, that's pretty cheap rent. Mm. Like to be honest, and you saw the house. Like it's yeah, it's totally okay. Good. It's yeah. it's not the Taj Mahal, but is he going to do any improvements to that front house? Initially, I don't think so. No. no. Yeah, just um, maybe pull that shed down at the back yep. and maybe put a fence up, but yeah. 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 Uh, who knows? He's pretty, uh, I suppose, strategic in that. So he might just walk through and say, you know what, I'm going to do some renos now, but yeah. I think he just wants the income straight away. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. but yeah, so that's a good outcome. Great outcome and mm. yeah, and plenty of options for him too. Don't, don't have to do it straight away. Can sit on it for a little while if you wanted to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and no, I think like it's having the that land space is just so premium, isn't it? Like yeah. just to have like you're not chopping off three, uh, keeping this as a, like a three hundred square block. There's still five hundred there of a good it's size big, yeah. standard house block. Like in Sydney, that's amazing isn't it so yeah. so i think it's yeah it's good uh good set and forget long term if you wanted but also could do a few different options like he could reno um flip that front house and and then build at the back and and even flip that or he could hold it all for the next 20 years and yeah, perfect. gradually do it up but the land value obviously increase you're only what was that 3k CBD. Yeah, CBD, yeah, yeah. super close. Big yeah. place. Good so. area, nice street too. Mm. Yeah, nice north. Um, how's my? It'll be south. Yeah, south. Uh, west, south, east. I think. Yeah, as your compass. <laughs> <laughs> to get the Google out there. On that one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. close enough. Yeah. Mm. Pocket. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. So. Um, but yeah, that sort of brought me to to the topic of uh, when people are buying that owner occupier versus investor. Like you've got locations, obviously really important, 
Um, but then you've got the budget to work with and then their feelings around would they live in it, would they not, and also the the condition of the house. Like you look through one, no, was it you, Ben, last week that said, oh, the, the layout was the, the client didn't like? Yeah. So like, well, do you have to live in it? No. Can we change the floor plan? Yes. Um, can we change the location? No. So, I mean, it's that real emotional We've, we've got to be continue to press home that they're not going to be living in it. Yeah. Get your head out of that and just look at the, the research and the numbers. In the worst case, you can change the physical building. Yeah. You move that building onto another land, but you can't move the land yeah. to a better location. So. That's right. And especially being an investor, you want to take the emotion out of it. Like it's numbers have just got to add up. Yeah. So it's got to work. And you know, and then yeah, take that emotion out of it, and that'll that'll help you weave in with pricing, yeah, and negotiating. The thing that sort of worries me for for someone like that that might get emotionally wrapped up in it, it could be a three month process for them before they find something, versus someone non emotional finds one in two weeks. Yeah, really like act. that that yeah. market movement in that time could be in some cases twenty thirty grand, couldn't it? Yep. Yeah. Um, we're saying two, two and a half percent per month for the last three months. That's yeah. That's extra um, payments they've got to make, isn't it? Absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah. And and then that pushes them into a inferior location, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So uh, it's it's clear to see why, like, obviously buyer's agents become relevant in that sense because they're frustrated, but all along it's been the emotional build-up where mm-hmm. they're not getting a result. Um, so we need to be strong with our clients to say, well, right, I keep the emotion out of it. Look at the numbers. Look at the logic. Look at the amount you've got to to spend. Um, it's not champagne taste be your money sort of thing because that just ends up being a frustrating process for everyone involved. And, and that's a good thing, I think, with envisage um, having the strategy and just sticking to that strategy, and that makes it easier to act quickly mm. and secure a property mm. quickly. You've got a strategy in place, we've already discussed it, and then you can just act. Yeah. Yeah, I think sometimes too, people don't want to buy the first couple of properties they see too. I've had a few clients who have said, oh, we'll just we'll look around and, yeah. and see what happens when, at the end of the process, like we should have bought that first property we looked at. Yeah. Because it took yeah. 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 But we just wanted to. Too raw in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and also, making sure that they don't start to run the process. Like, oh, I'm looking at this, but I don't feel comfortable with that, so I'll keep looking at a, a yeah. few different things. And all of a sudden, the, the tide's turned, and they're telling us what they should be buying. Yep. In actual fact, it should be the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they remind them about the strategy again. That's, yeah. the, that's the best way to bring them back around, is this is our strategy. These all adds up. Yeah, that? yeah that's right. Mm. Mm. It's a big step, but so I can it understand where they're coming from, but that's where the buyer's agents are going to help them, yeah. them into it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, and, and being really clear on their expectations from the start and almost finding out what type of personality they are. Yes. Are they emotional shoppers or are they, <laughs> no, I just couldn't care less. So all I worry about is the numbers and the research that you guys have done. I trust I'll back you in. Yeah.